Braden Cars is located 13 kilometres north of a small town in New Zealand called Waiau. We design and build cars for the road and the track. We try to do a hell of a lot of the manufacturing in-house and we do pretty much the bulk of the design work here as well. We've got the FZ which is a normally aspirated open wheel track car and we've got the F0 which is a closed cockpit, closed wheel car for the track that's designed to be quicker than the Formula One. We've currently got about 1,300 square metres of buildings for various parts of the manufacturing, although they're all a little bit disjointed as they've grown over time. We've run into a bit of a space problem and we've got a 500 cube metal printer coming and a few other machines and we decided to build our own engines as well, so we had to build a bigger shed basically. We're building a 50 by 50 factory adjacent to our current facility at 2,500 square metres, 27,500 square feet, and we'll be able to do all the engine manufacture in there. We're going to move all the printers in there. That'll free up space for the carbon side. We're going to move the painting in there and various test rigs, and then we'll have a lot more room for design engineers as well. Hi, I'm Matt from Road and Cars. I'm a project manager and I oversee all the building projects here. So currently the stage of the building, we've got the, all the tilt panels up, concrete floor down, roof on, and we've got windows arriving and services going in. We did the layout of the building on computer. So we use the same basic design tools and processes that we use on the car. We spent a lot of time on the original plan. I think it's going to be a really good result. The initial stage of the build was the earthworks. One side was 3 metres too high and roughly 10,000 cubic metres of dirt was moved to level the surface for the foundation works to begin. The work then began for the reinforced concrete foundations. Each tilt slab weighs approximately 20 tonnes so they require substantial footings to land on. Additionally, the 50 metre clear span roof requires serious foundations to anchor each portal leg. The steel portal frames were then erected and bolted down to the foundations along with the purlins being bolted to the rafters. The steel superstructure is now complete and ready for concrete tilt slabs. This new building's got tilt up concrete walls and it's got a full clear span on the 50 metres. You've moved up from sort of a tin shed into a, something that's a much more sophisticated and practical operation. We've got a full carbon shop, so autoclaves, cutters, basically everything to do all the in-house work, so we'll be basically completely self-contained on the carbon front. We'll be able to do everything from design right through to finished production. Now it was time to erect the tilt slabs. These panels were trucked up from Christchurch one at a time, averaging around 20 tonne per panel. These panels took just over a week to stand in place, a great effort by our subcontractors on site. With the main structural members of the building now complete, we are ready for roof. The roof sheets were then installed with multiple penetrations for the exhausting of our specialised equipment. The roof is a two layer system with a PIR board between the layers to give us a R5.1 insulation value. This along with the insulated tilt panels and floor 
provides a thermally efficient structure, which is very important for keeping our machines at a consistent temperature, which is crucial for our precise machining and manufacturing. We're going to build the engines completely from scratch, which includes castings. So we'll be casting from aluminium ingots, in effect. We're going to be making the cranks, rods, pistons, pins, everything except basically the rings, the springs and the seals. And you need space for all that because you need specialised machinery to do those things. Well, obviously the big guys make, make their own engines from scratch. Um, but in terms of the smaller guys, yeah, no one, no one's doing it. I think it's still a better strategy and it gives us in-house capability that yeah, most guys don't have. We're building a new spray booth in our new facility, so we'll be able to take the carbon side completely from one end to the other. We're building this brake test rig, which again is, is absolutely essential. And a lot of machinery that's, that's hooked up with the manufacturing of the engines. Like we need a, a crank and cam grinder, which is a massively huge machine to grind the cam profiles and the crank journals. With the slab now prepped, we carried out the concrete pour with the roof over our heads. The flooring includes a hydro underfloor heating system that uses heat pumps to provide the main heating source. Additionally, isolated pads for specialised CNC machines were constructed at this point. We're now at the exciting stage of the internal fit-out works. The required services are being installed for our machinery and we begin to start building the offices and working areas. The basic structure is pretty close to finished. We're, we're really at the internal fit-out stage. we just got to build the, build the various rooms and offices and set up the various areas for the various machines. We've got about 20 people, but if we want to build higher volumes of cars, we'll definitely have to get more people. We can make that building almost three times larger than it is. So we can basically go from two and a half thousand square metres to over 7,000 square metres. That should definitely be enough to cover the goals that we have longer term. The completion will be the most exciting part. We have machinery arriving very soon, so it's all hands on deck to ensure we are ready for installation. Watch this space to see the finished result.